Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Display and Visibility tutorial. The display property specifies how and if an element is displayed, and the visibility property specifies if an element should be visible or hidden. First, we will learn how to hide an element using the display property and the visibility property. You can hide an element by setting the display property to none or the visibility property to hidden. However, these two methods produce different results. Setting the visibility property to hidden will hide an element but will still take up the same space as before. The element will be hidden but still affect the layout. Let's try to remove this style rule. Now you can see the element. If we put the style rule back, you will notice that the content or text is gone, but the element still takes up the same space. Now if we set this property to display and the value to none, now the element is gone and it doesn't take any space. And the page is displayed as if the element is not there. Let's try to remove the style again. Now you see the element and if we set display none the page is displayed as if the element is not there. The display property can also be used to specify how an element is displayed. It can be displayed as a block element or an inline element. A block element is an element that takes up the full width available and has a line break before and after it, like h1, p, list item, or div elements. An inline element only takes up as much width as necessary and does not force line breaks, like span elements or a elements, which we use for links. Changing how an element is displayed is useful for making the page look a specific way and still follow web standards. Let's look at an example. This list of links is displayed as a horizontal navigation bar using display inline. Now let's remove the style. This is how it's normally displayed with a line break after each list item. Now let's try displaying a span element as a block. These two span elements are displayed as block. Now you can see there's a line break between them that will be gone if we remove the style. Like this. Now let's add a new paragraph with a link in it and let's try and display the A element as a block element instead of in line. Now we see this link is displayed as a block element. It has a line break before and after it and it takes up the full width available. Now even if we change the display property of an element it only changes how the element is displayed not what kind of element it is. So an inline element with display block is still not allowed to have other block elements inside of it. On the w 3 Schools tutorial page there are more examples for display and visibility properties. This concludes our tutorial for CSS display and visibility. Thank you for watching.